What if the answer to the most profound question in science wasn't millions of light years away? What if it was right in our own solar system, hidden beneath the icy surface of one of Jupiter's moons? On October 12, 2024, NASA is launching the Europa Clipper, a mission that just might lead us to the discovery of life beyond Earth. Europa, one of Jupiter's four largest moons, is slightly smaller than Earth's moon. On the surface, it looks like an endless frozen wasteland, scarred with long, jagged cracks. But looks can be deceiving. Beneath its thick layer of ice, scientists believe there's something extraordinary. A vast, liquid ocean, possibly containing twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. And where there's liquid water, there might be life. Europa isn't just a cold rock orbiting a gas giant. Beneath that icy shell, there's heat generated by tidal forces as Jupiter's gravity constantly tugs and stretches the moon. This could create the perfect conditions for hydrothermal vents, similar to those found at the bottom of Earth's oceans. And, as we've discovered on Earth, life can thrive in the most extreme places, where sunlight never reaches and heat and chemicals from deep below sustain entire ecosystems. That's why NASA is launching the Europa Clipper this week, our best shot yet at exploring this hidden ocean and figuring out whether Europa might actually harbor life. But what makes this mission so exciting is the cutting-edge technology on board. This spacecraft is armed with nine powerful instruments, designed to study Europa in ways we've never been able to before. For starters, the ice-penetrating radar will send signals deep into the surface, mapping out the thickness of the ice and giving us the first clear look at the ocean beneath. It's like using X-ray vision to peek beneath a world of ice. Then, there's the thermal imager, which will scan for warmer spots on the surface. These spots could reveal cracks or thinner ice where liquid water may be closer to the surface. And one of the most exciting instruments is a mass spectrometer. As Europa Clipper flies through the plumes of water vapor that we've observed erupting from the moon, it'll sniff the gas to search for organic molecules, the building blocks of life. Although this mission isn't going to land on Europa or dig through the ice, what it will do is fly by Europa dozens of times, collecting as much data as possible before it gets destroyed by the strong radiation fields surrounding Jupiter. But could it tell us whether there's life down there? Well, that depends on what we find. On Earth, life thrives in extreme environments like deep sea hydrothermal vents. Here, microorganisms feed on the chemicals spewing from the Earth's crust, no sunlight required. Europa's ocean could be a similar environment, with the heat from tidal forces and potential hydrothermal activity providing the energy needed to support microbial life. The implications of this mission go far beyond just Europa. If we find even the slightest hint that life could exist elsewhere in our own solar system, it will reshape our understanding of the universe. Up until now, Earth has been the only known place where life exists. But what if life is common? What if, wherever there's water, life has found a way to emerge? This mission could be the start of a new era in science, one that challenges the idea that Earth is unique in harboring life. The launch of the Europa Clipper is just the beginning. Over the next decade, we'll continue exploring the outer solar system, visiting moons like Enceladus and Titan, other places that could potentially harbor life. It's an exciting time to be alive, as we push the boundaries of space exploration and deepen our search for life beyond Earth.